Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 3, understanding quadrilaterals exercise 3.3, third sum onwards. See now question number 3, can a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B equals to 180 degrees, second one AB equal to DC equal to 8 centimeters, AD equals to 4 centimeter and BC equals to 4.4 centimeter. And third one, angle A equals to 70 degrees and angle C equals to 65 degrees. Let us see the solution. See the first one is a quadrilateral ABCD be a parallelogram if angle D plus angle B equals to 180 degrees. But it should also fulfilled by some conditions which are the sum of adjacent angles should be 180 degrees and the opposite angles must be equal. See now second one. AB equals to DC equal to 8 cm, AD is equal to 4 cm and BC equal to 4.4 cm. But here opposite sides AD and BC are not equal. Therefore opposite sides of same length should be there. Here these are of different lengths so it cannot form a parallelogram. See now third one angle A equals 70 degrees, angle C equals 65 degrees. We know opposite angles should be of same measurement but here these are different angles therefore angle A is not equal to angle C therefore they cannot form a parallelogram. See now question number 4 draw a rough figure of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles of equal measure. Let us see the solution here we have drawn a figure A B C D let A B C D is a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram but has exactly two opposite angles that is angle B is equal to angle D as these both are having equal measurement. This ABCD is not a parallelogram why because here angle A is not equal to angle C. See now question number 5. The measures of two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Let us see the solution. Let the measures of two adjacent angles that is angle A and angle B be. They have given ratio 3 is to 2. So it is 3x and 2x respectively in a parallelogram ABCD. We know sum of adjacent angles is 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B equals to 180 degrees. Angle A means 3x plus angle B means 2x that equals to 180 degrees. 3x plus 2x that is 5x that equals to 180 degrees. Now we shall find x. x equal to 180 degrees divided by 5. Why? Because here 5 is going to multiply. On transposing it is divided by. Now we shall do cancellation. 5 table 5 ones are 5. 5 table 36 times 180 degrees. Now we got here x value as 36 degrees. Now we shall find all angles of the parallelogram. We know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So angle A equals to angle C that is 3x that equals to 3 into we got x value 36 degrees. So 3 into 36 degrees that is 108 degrees. So angle B is equal to angle D that is 2x that equals to 2 into x value 36. So 2 into 36 that is 72 degrees. So angle A and angle C are 180 degrees and angle B and angle D are 72 degrees. See now question number 6. Two adjacent angles of a parallelogram have equal measure. Find the measure of each of the angles of the parallelogram. Let us see the solution. Let A, B, C, D be a parallelogram. Sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A and angle B both are adjacent angles. So sum of adjacent angles that is angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degrees. They have given both are of equal measures. So angle A is equal to angle B. That's why we have written here angle A plus angle B can be written as angle A. That equals to 180 degrees. That implies angle A plus angle A to angle A that equals to 180 degrees. Now we shall find angle A that equals to 180 degrees by 2. 2 table 180 degrees is 90 times. So angle A is 90 degrees. Now we shall find angle B. See here angle A plus angle B is 180 degrees. We have to find angle B. So angle B equals to 180 degrees minus angle A. 
that is 180 degrees minus angle here value 90 degrees. So 180 minus 90 that is 90 degrees. Therefore we got angle A 90 degrees, angle B 90 degrees. We know opposite angles of a parallelogram is 90 degrees. So angle A is equal to angle C that is 90 degrees. Next step. Angle B is equal to angle D that equals to 90 degrees. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 3 exercise 3.3 2 to 6 sums. In the next video we shall see remaining sums of this exercise. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.